So I am headed to the Stedman Clinic and I've talked to my doctor once on the phone, but I've actually not really wanted to pay too much attention to the detailed surgery because obviously it's really scary. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this will be the first time I really dive into what's gonna happen to me on Wednesday. How's that feel? So this is probably better than even my other headphones. No, it is a I mean, if you want to know... Want to get two? Mm -hmm. I was the most interested in seeing that. Can you see that? So you can... Okay, so anyway, we're going to... So... Just getting ready for surgery. Got my friend here. Think she's so happy. Here we go. I'm already feeling the drugs. Bye, mom. <laughs> this is the best part when you get these. I always have the best wine liners. Last time, they're like, when, "Can you feel your legs?" And I'm like, "I can't feel my legs." So funny. Why does the funny stuff happen when you hit the drugs? I'll probably tell you guys a lot about my doctor in the family yeah that tends to come up a lot they were supposed to be here i'm a little disappointed but mm. trying to have babies so that trumped being at yeah, my surgery I can see that. let me get the automatic door there dr pitts yep i'm like all right guys how could you not want to go to my surgery when you have 10 surgeries yep. today <laughs> all right, my dad has been doing a lot of research oh really Dr. Pitts, do you want to stand uh, over here on that side? Right, just we'll put, the, yeah, we'll put it right side down so we can just kind of do it quick. There's your, the ski boots here. You want to hold it there? Ski boots. I get to put ski boots on in here. <laughs> Back in the game, day one. Come on, Jake. Get that out. <laughs> Apparently your bone is strong, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> can't feel my legs though so I gotta rest a little bit longer <laughs> first time sitting up um, that's my crazy deformed weird looking swelling so far ready for physical therapy <laughs> Old pro should have been, never was, or something. Yeah. Be a hero. Oh, Sounds good. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually weird to not have to limp. <laughs> yeah. That's, so that's your whole pelvis, your new hip on the right. 
right leg and the crutch come down first. Beautiful. How's it feel? Good. Good. Yeah. Let's practice that one more time. <laughs> That one oh, got about a B, B minus. Let's practice with the crutches. B minus. So in case you come up to a curb. So take your time. So you're going up with the good. And down with the bad. So left leg to leg. On the way down, your crutches and your right leg. So take your time. There you go. Good. You don't have to race, I promise. Okay. Okay. Day three after surgery. We survived. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the, I guess, hospital if you call the hotel room <laughs> hospital but we were within throwing distance to the hospital so uh we're on our own now here we go faster you know how slow that stuff comes off though It's so weird where it's numb, it hurts. Uh, pull sideways, don't pull down. Pull this sideways. Uh, that looks so gross. So it's my ninth day after surgery. I can stand, I can pretty much do everything without my cane. Walking is a bit suspect, I would have to say. I have my scar covered because I'm not allowed to go in the water, but um, I wanted it to be splash proof so and not get any sun. So I have some Tegaderm over that. And yeah, it's not that scary, doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little sore today and a little bit nervous to put a lot of pressure on my leg because it was a little sore from walking and I think that um, my pubic bone might have got a little bit out of sorts but I rested and I iced and I'm feeling really good so tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Pretty excited about it. I might even try to go in the pool with my scar covered and I want to show you that. It's really not that bad. Seriously, not that bad. It is now two weeks since my surgery and I am going swimming for the first time. I'm very excited. I uh, have a little bit of my scar that has a scab and I had one of my under, um, I guess the second layer of sutures, I had a little end sticking out. So I'm going to use Tegaderm to cover my Incision area. Just because safety first is probably like silly, but um, I'm gonna go, go in the ocean and um, yeah, pretty excited, feeling great, and just so grateful that everything's gone so smoothly and I'm healthy and yeah, awesome.